Good morning, students. Today our class is social science, and we will study unit number two, India, climate and natural resources. I hope you all have your books, but I will not read your textbook. I am just giving in summary type that you can understand easily. Let's start India, climate and natural resources, unit number two. As India is a very vast country in terms of area, there is a large diversity in its physiography. So, the diversity is also seen in its climate. Hemisphere, distance from equator, physical distance from sea, mountains, plateaus, flow of sea or ocean, forest and winds play an important role in creating climatic condition. Climate means the long term condition of the temperature and humidity of any place. Tropic of Cancer 23 degree north hemisphere passes through the middle of the India. The north India is far from the Tropic of Cancer. Due to it, here the climate remains cold and middle region of India experience heat. The rainfall occurs in India due to the seasonal winds of southwest wide, southwest side. These winds are irregular and uncertain. Thus, in India the rain falls before or late, more or less. Consequently, there is uneven rainfall in different parts of India. All the three sides of the region of South India are surrounded by the sea water. Due to it, there is moderate climate in South India. In the east and west part of southern peninsula, there is the eastern ghat and the western ghat. These mountains affects on the seasonal rainfall. On branch of the seasonal winds of Bay of Bengal enter in northeast side of India, passes through Bangladesh with plenty of humidity. The mountains of Meghalaya and Assam are obstructed in its way. Therefore, there is heavy rainfall on these two regions. With the season, the winds also change its direction, which is its speciality. India experiences winter season from December to February, summer season from March to May, and monsoon season from June to September. The seasonal winds blow from Arabian Sea, bring rain in Gujarat, Rajasthan, South India, including Kerala and North India. The things or materials which are stored by human beings and category based on its characters, power and capacity to work which human which become the wealth of human being are known as natural resources. The natural resources are of three types, water resources, mineral resources and land resources. Water resources, rivers, lakes and seas are the water resources of India. Sindhu, Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra, Koshi, Jhilam, Bias, Ravi, Chenab, Satluj, etc. are the main rivers of North India. Narmada, Tapi, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Tungavadra, etc. are the main rivers of South India. In the way of the rivers flowing from mountains or plateau, there are uneven plains. So the flow of the river falls down from the height with speed. Therefore, waterfall are formed. Mineral resources. The mineral resources which are composed due to the geological and inorganic process under the earth from the Entral 
eternal time and which has particular chemical constitution is called minerals. Raw iron, copper, gold, zinc, tin, nickel, mercury, platinum, etc. are metallic minerals, diamond, ruby, limestone, china clay, dolomite, bauxite, fluorspar, gypsum, achic, calcite, silica, graphite, potash, phosphate, etc. are non-metallic minerals, coal, natural gas, mineral oil, uranium, thorium, radium, etc. are power generating minerals. Jharkhand, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Meghalaya, Assam, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, etc. are the main productive states of coal. Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Bihar, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, etc. are the main productive states of manganese. Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Gujarat, West Bengal, Maharashtra, Sikkim, Meghalaya, etc. are the main productive states of copper. Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Odisha, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, etc. are the main productive states of bauxite. These are the important part of your text. So, you will read uh, carefully in, from the textbook. Jharkhand, Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, etc. are the main productive states of mica. Karnataka, uh, Andhra Pradesh are the main productive states of gold. Assam, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Bombay High, which is situated in the sea near Mumbai, Andhra Pradesh, Andaman, Nicobar, etc. are the main productive centers of mineral oil. Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Tripura, Bombay High, etc. are the main productive centers of natural gas. Thorium and uranium are available at Rajasthan and Jharkhand states. The main use of manganese is to make special type of steel from iron. Moreover, it is used in chemical industries, pesticides, glass, varnish and printing industries. Copper is mainly used in electric wear explosive, color glass, coins and printing industries. It is also used in making of brass, bronze and in gold ornaments. Aluminium is made from bauxite. Aluminium is used to make vessels, aeroplanes, electric wire, electronic instruments, colors, etc. It is also used in purification of kerosene and making of cement. Mica is mainly used for making electronic devices, radio, telephone, aeroplane, car, gramophone, soundproof, curtains, etc. Fluorospar is mainly used in mineral melting industries, plastic industries, hydrochloric acid and in making things from china clay. Land resources. The main trees like cane, Longwood, Sisem, Abnas, Mahogany, and Rosewood are found in the evergreen forest of India. They are found in highly rainfall area. The trees like Tik, Sal, Mahudo, Sandal, Kachu, Banyan, Pipal, etc. are found in deciduous forest of India. These trees shed leaves in autumn. Trees like Chet, Sundari, betel, betel Nut, Coconut, Saru, Plum, etc. tree are found in the forest of Shisor of India. Trees like Devdar, Pine, Silver Fir, Pearls, spider, spider, etc. are found in the 
coniferous forest of India. Trees like Bawad, Bor, Hijado, different types of Thor and thorny vegetations are found in the forest of cactus of India. The boxes of medicine, tea, etc., matchsticks, minerals for games, paper and fiber for artificial cloth are made from the wood of Devdar. Wildlife Resources In India, elephants are found in Kerala, Karnataka and Assam in the forest around foot of Himalaya. In India, one or rhinos is found in the bogs of Assam and West Bengal. In Asia, lions are found dwelling only in Gir forest of Gujarat. In India, tigers are found dwelling in Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, Uttarakhand and in the forest around the foots of Himalaya. Royal Bengal tigers of West Bengal of India are one of the eight species of the tigers of the world. Kevladev near Bharatpur in Rajasthan is the national bird sanctuary. Nal Sarovar of Gujarat is very famous sanctuary of birds. There are about 419 centuries and 89 national parks in India. Fish like mackerel, zinga, bumala, pomfret, herring, salmon, shark, etc. are animals like curbs and dolphin are found in the east western seashore of India. So, this chapter is completed. If you read carefully, then you will understand and follow uh, what I give this video. You read it or listen it very carefully. You will uh, get very uh, proper idea. So, I will give you homework. Uh, thank you very much.